In my video how to combine mesh and BREP files in Fusion 360, I've had a comment the mesh workspace has changed. I'm no longer able to select two meshes and merge them. Any ideas? Well, yes, it has changed and in this video we'll cover how to do that in 2019. Unlike more traditional software models like SOLIDWORKS who release a new edition of their software every year and occasionally patches throughout the year, Fusion 360 is a cloud-based piece of software and new updates arrive all the time. In fact, one's arrived uh, just overnight. So with each update, various new features and user interfaces um, come into play. And in fact, the authorized user is correct there are some changes to the mesh workspace. So um, before I jump into this next bit, I'm gonna hit restart Fusion 360 and uh, get the latest version. So here I am set with the latest update as it tells me in this banner here. Um, let's get into opening up um, a BREP file, BREP being just a traditional solid body. Um, this project is actually from um, some gaming tiles in my, this particular case it's some Catan pieces. I'll link to a video up in the top corner where I, I show how I do the casting process. Um, my silicon molds are starting to degrade so I'm creating some new ones. This is a really simple body of just a, um, a base cylinder and an upper cylinder and I'm going to put my mesh in the middle, convert the whole thing to mesh for 3D printing. So we've got various um, ways of bringing a mesh in this particular um, new version of Fusion 360, we can either insert a mesh or we've got these now really easily missed little sub tabs in the design space. So if we go to mesh, we can create and insert a mesh. Both that and that do the same thing. So I'm going to insert a mesh. I'm going to bring in my um, brick mold or brick file. And this is something I created way back when in a combination of ZBrush and Fusion 360. So I can use the handles. I'm going to position it a little bit more accurately by just putting in a data input there. And then with it oriented, I'm going to move it to ground and then center it so that it's in, oops, I moved to ground. So it's in the middle of my, um, of my object. Hit OK. And now I've got a combination. You can see in the bodies here, I've got a body and I've got a mesh. I can't export this thing at the moment for 3D printing or further mesh editing. So what I really need to do is um, create, turn this thing, this, uh, this body here, also known as BREP, to uh, a mesh. That is reasonably simple in the solid design space. I can go BREP to mesh. Or if I go to mesh, exactly the same thing is found under the create menu. Now, what sort of annoys me about this interface is these contextual right click menus change depending on which tab you're in. So it's really difficult to remember where stuff is, but that and that are the, uh, the same function. And look, we've got a third place there. That's actually the button that, that does that automatically. I would probably say working in the mesh tab is best when working with meshes then you have to remember where things are on right click so we'll hit brep to mesh it will ask me for various inputs i'm just going to um, select the body and then select okay i'll take the default settings and now we've got two things which can be separated from each other a gaming piece and a mold container so what we want to do is combine these things so if I shift click both of those, I can right click, get nothing there. I could modify merge bodies. Wonder if it's in solid, whether I can actually merge these. I can't. So this is something you can just get it in mesh. We're going to hit modify, merge those bodies. And it'll ask me if I want to keep the tool bodies. I would say that's probably a good idea. You can always hide them and exclude them. The tool bodies being the piece and the mold. So we'll keep them there. I like as much data in my uh, feature tree as possible. And what we've got is the th three bodies now. I will hide the tool bodies, the originals, and I've just got this combined 
mesh here. Now I've had some experiments with saving this out as an STL. In theory, you should be able to just save this as an STL. I've found that hasn't worked for whatever reason. Your mileage may vary, but this is the, uh, the workflow which I find works every time. Go to the solid tab, right click. We're gonna create a component from body. It will give us a component down here. This new body, we're gonna save that as an STL. Now that feels to me intuitively like a messy way of doing it, but it works. So that's what I recommend you do. So we will select uh, this com. No, oh, not my own about. No, select this thing, which are combined. These are our two tool bodies, and I'm just going to save that as I will call it combined. And I'll now open that up. Um, combined here, it'll open it up in this. MakerBot software, which I've got on there. I don't actually have access to that MakerBot anymore. And there you have it. There's our combined 3D printable um, object created from a B-Rep, solid geometry, and a mesh combined, merged, then exported. So that is a summary of Fusion 360's mesh tools in 2019. Any questions, drop them in the comments and do check out my other videos, which I'll leave on the end screen now. Thanks for watching.